Like, this is... This is what the NFL dreams for. A Saturday night, a wild card weekend. You got Aikman and Buck on the call. And what are we doing? We've got Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll walking into that building. It's experience versus non-experience. Dak Prescott's got one playoff game under his belt. Yeah. Obviously, Ezekiel Elliott does. But a lot of those guys on that Cowboys defense, the Jalen Smiths, the Leighton Van Der Esches, all of those guys come in kind of nascent with, this, with the playoff situation. And bright lights, here we go. And then in come the Seahawks, led by two guys, Bobby Wagner and yeah. Russell Wilson, that have been there, done that it's your classic case of experienced old veteran players going up against the young upstart bright guys and it's under the lights in Dallas yeah. it's America's team versus the Pacific Northwest it's everything you it's tremendous classic doesn't this feel like this is gonna be like an old school football yeah game like 1613 yeah right? I, I'm that Russ against those two linebackers it, that's, that's gonna it. be like some Jackie Chan stuff. you know what I mean that is gonna be <laughs> so real. good right up. and I will say pressure Seahawks lose this game great season yeah. great job great season made the playoffs Cowboys lose this game Mm -mm, can't happen. A lot of pressure mm -hmm. on Dallas. Yeah, and just like a Jackie Chan movie, it's going to be rush hour because both these teams can rush the ball. Mm. When you look at what the Seahawks have been able to do, being the best running team in football, and then Zeke Elliott sitting on the sideline thinking to himself, I'm the best running back in football. So it's really who can control the ground. We know that Russell Wilson is going to do his thing. He's going to mm -hmm. escape the pocket. It's going to be a fantastic highlight of him using his feet to extend plays. But whoever can control the clock and control the ground, that's who's going to win this game. It's very simple to me. As good as these quarterbacks yeah. will be, it's about the running game. Foles, last year in this brilliant run, did he have to go on the road? Yeah. He's going to go on the road. No, he didn't. Never had to go on the road. Oh, Foles, oh, last year. I said, yeah, Never course, once so. had to go on the road. I and got a buy. I want to see if that magic translates to Soldier Fields. So we'll see how that all shakes out a hell of an NFC Game wild year. card weekend. Let's bring in Tom Pelissero. He's in Minneapolis this morning with the Vikings, and they suffered a tough loss to the Bears at home in their stadium. They're out of the playoffs. What is the latest on sort of the mood and the vibe in Minnesota right about now? Okay, it was an intense disappointment in that locker room yesterday, not just because the Vikings lost that game to the Bears and missed the playoffs, but the way that they lost that game, getting completely shut down throughout the first half offensively. The defense that has been their calling card did not rise to the occasion, gave up an early touchdown drive that kind of set the tone for the entire day. Now, in terms of what happens from here, starting with Coach Mike Zimmer, I talked to multiple team sources both last night and this morning who say they would be shocked if Mike Zimmer does not return as the Vikings coach in 2019. There also has been some speculation in recent days about the possibility that Mike Zimmer might walk away from the Vikings, whether to retire or potentially to try to get himself to Cincinnati. I texted with Mike Zimmer this morning and he told me, I'll quote it, I'm not retiring or resigning, period. He is under contract through 2019, so there could be an extension moving forward here. Owner Ziggy and Mark Wilf left the stadium yesterday without speaking to reporters, but that's not unusual for them after a loss, Kay. Thank you so much, Tom. The Buccaneers parted ways with Dirk Cutter, so uh, he was relieved of his duties while keeping GM Jason Light in the mix. What do you know about that situation going on down in Tampa? Well, it's very rare for general managers to get three different head coaches, but really this is the first time that Jason Light has gotten to participate in a coaching search. You go back to the first year that Jason Light got there. He was actually hired after the Buccaneers hired Lovey Smith. A couple of years later, there was a situation where Dirk Cutter had a request for an interview from the Miami Dolphins, who at the time ended up hiring Adam Gase. Well, the Buccaneers did not want to disrupt Jameis Winston's progress, not move on to a different play caller. They opted to fire Lovey Smith uh, a, a substantial time after the regular season ended and promote Dirk Cutter to the head coaching job. So you will have Jason Light working in concert with a search firm uh, in terms of this search moving forward. He has a diverse background. He's worked in New England. He's worked in Philadelphia. Knows a lot of different people within the league. And my understanding, and speaking to different people in league circles, is there is a sense that this is a job that could interest former Packers coach Mike McCarthy. Now, he would have a quarterback in Jameis Winston who's entering uh, his fifth NFL season. There are some decisions to make moving forward about his future with that franchise, but keep that name in mind as the Bucks enter this coaching search really in earnest starting today. Tom, no coach since John Gruden has lasted with the Bucks for three years or more, so some stability 
in on that team would be impressive and really what they need down there in that division. Appreciate you and your time and the fact that you're vibing with the Minnesota Vikings in your wardrobe today. Aditi, take note, I'm just saying. <laughs> and uh, we've got much more ahead. Trey, do you want to add Yeah, something? real quick on the Tampa thing. One name, Todd Monken was the offensive coordinator in Tampa Bay. He was also let go with Dirk Cutter. He is now being considered a very popular name for a head coaching job elsewhere. So Monken, with that amazing Tampa Bay offense that they had, they didn't get the wins. Yeah. He's a name who's going to get some job interviews as well. So it's not just Dirk losing. It's also Todd Monken out there. In Tampa. Much more ahead. Deshaun Watson ran the Texans to an AFC South title.